Good evening, everybody, live and direct from Sunday night in the downtown Memphis, Tennessee area. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. If you're just tuning in and joining us, this is our live video weather blog update for the weather blog we call Weather Overtime. It's weather on the go for people that are out and about for this evening, an opportunity for you to get tons of weather information available in one place and opportunities to see a little bit more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South. We've got a lot to talk about for this evening. If you've never tuned in here before, first of all, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. What we've got for you again is tons of weather information. Our website located right here, wreg.com slash weather. Current conditions in the backyard, 83 degrees. Nothing in the rain gauge for right now. For tonight, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms forecast bar here. Tomorrow's forecast in the lower bar. Temperatures in the mid-80s as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Email address down here, austin.onic at wreg.com if you'd like to know more about what's going on or if you have a suggestion about what you would like to see on here. A great opportunity to learn more about what's going on around the Mid-South, but if there's something more specific you'd like to see, please let us know. We'd love to be able to bring it to you here on Weather Overtime to let you know more about what's going on. Weather on the fourth rock from the sun from the Curiosity Rover, the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station, or REMS, showing an air temperature of 7.6 degrees. That was the high temperature on Tuesday of last week. Negative 106 degrees, the low temperature. That was the air temperatures right there. Ground temperature, 39 degrees above above zero and a negative air negative ground temperature of 207 degrees below zero that's all in Fahrenheit ultraviolet activity at a high side if you'd like to see more about what the Curiosity rover is experiencing on Mars and the several days between the information that we get out there go to mars.nasa.gov for more information about what's going on about a planet away in the earthquake area from the New Madrid fault line we do not have a lot going on Matter of fact, nothing whatsoever reported uh, in and around the Mid-South area from the New Madrid Fault or any place else around the Mid-South. This information courtesy of the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis and also from the United States Geological Survey. You can get that information from earthquakes.usgs.gov. St. Francis Cam from Cordova. Clouds above, very slim amounts of traffic below. Didn't think that Germantown Parkway ever got a little bit less traffic into the... Of our weather bug cameras available at W reg.cams if you'd like to see more about what's going on direct south area. Currently, again, throughout the rest of the area, we've got other webcams lined up from the Ole Miss campus looking at the student union construction going on. Looks like we just missed the sunset light going on here, and their webcams available at livecams.olemiss.edu. Olive Branch, Mississippi, former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichard. Thank you very much for a very nice webcam from the backyard of City Hall. Great opportunity to see more on the weather underground system and temperatures very much on the mild side out there. Just past sunset at Rhodes College in Memphis, the building silhouetted by a passing sunset back to the west. And again, okay, well that's seems to be having computer problems. Sorry about the skip in data here. That should not be happening. Here's what we're looking for. That is where we should be going forward to. Uh, temperatures over the next few hours back in the mid to upper 70s by just after news channel 3 at 10. Scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms. 20% coverage chance here. As we go into late night early tomorrow morning we may be seeing an, it, an uptick in the chance of showers and thunderstorms. About a 30% coverage chance here and more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into tomorrow. Temperatures not that low in the mid to upper 70s and that's about as cool as it gets across much of the area for later on tonight. Apologies for the screen freeze. We're getting uh, data stacked up here which kind of takes the computer out for just a little while. What we're going to be seeing into overnight is going to again be temperatures very much on the mild side through about News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning. We see a few spotty sprinkles, maybe some rumbles of thunder taking place. It's back to the west that we're going to be watching for a lot more more thunderstorms over western Arkansas, central Arkansas, southern Missouri that are eventually going to be moving their way into the Mid-South area as we get into late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Should be just west of the area by the time we hit about News Channel 3 daybreak, wrapping up the last hour between 6 and 7. Showers and thunderstorms rotating into the area. Could be some severe weather with this, some moderate to, uh, well as right now, marginal chances at best coming up as we go into the rest of the forecast into the next several hours toward tomorrow morning. Morning. Then again, chances of showers and thunderstorms again continuing off and on throughout the rest of the day tomorrow and remaining again with us as we go into tomorrow afternoon, evening, and right on into, unfortunately, tomorrow night. So if you have any outdoor plans, 
off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms could be giving us just about any amount of problems out there. Now severe threat into tomorrow is going to be mainly back to our west happening here immediately but late Monday we could see again more chances of showers and thunderstorms a marginal threat over mainly eastern Arkansas some parts of the metro area and extreme northwestern Mississippi that's where we're seeing again that potential for showers and thunderstorms out there that could be a little stronger and on Tuesday the threat will remain close to the area just back up to around areas of Kansas City Wichita Oklahoma City Fort Smith I-40 back to around Fayetteville Springfield Jeff City Missouri west of St. Louis and more importantly west of the News Channel 3 viewing area. So looking at numbers again better for severe weather as we get out of Tuesday and heading into Wednesday. Chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the period into tomorrow. Here's the big thing as we get into around the time for fireworks on Tuesday evening. There will still be chances of showers and thunderstorms out there so the fireworks displays could be delayed postponed or even canceled. Now we'll get information about that called into us from the official sources if anything like that goes on. If it does we will let you know about it as soon as we possibly can so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 via web uh, and also on air and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on. Wednesday a lesser chance but still a possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms out there and isolated activity throughout the rest of the week but we will still also see again the potential for showers and thunderstorms every single day right on into the end of this next week so if you have any plans for outdoors keep the plans but just be prepared to move everybody back indoors again when you see those showers and thunderstorms out there also something to keep track of as soon as the computer uh, catches up with everything here we look down into around the tropics down into around the eastern pacific we have again the possibility of another system developing here it's an official investigative system it's now classified 94 e 94 echo and that could wander up the southern mexican coast maybe bringing them another chance of a hurricane. Dora was the last one last week. Back out into the Atlantic, this is the main thing we're going to be watching for, uh, the potential for showers and thunderstorms developing with this particular system. It's now just a tropical wave. It's energy moving through the atmosphere, but it is still going to be possible to get, again, a new storm system probably within the next 72 hours when we see this develop. And there is the possibility of this thing moving very close to the East Coast state. So that's something also we're going to be watching and what you need to be watching as well if you're heading anywhere between Miami or Boston or Miami and around Brownsville Texas you need to watch this system got to watch to see where this thing is eventually going to be winding up let's take a look at weather, weather where the troops are from again around the area of Afghanistan Sun is up on early Monday morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Going to be another hot day. Very dry there. Even hotter expected around Iraq. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s right now with again just past sunrise. The temperatures out there are seeing again some very dry conditions will easily be in the triple digits there. Same thing for the Persian Gulf. We're not getting a lot of major amounts of cool down temperatures here. 90s already in Doha, in Qatar, in Bahrain, 84 in Saudi Arabia and also at Kuwait at the International Airport. A little bit different conditions back into around the Korean Peninsula. We do have the D all the way to the Sea of Japan. Temperatures in the upper 70s to around the lower 80s and thunderstorms all over the country from Seoul to Pusan, Taegu to Kunsan and back around the DMZ close to the Chunchan area. So if you have friends or loved ones serving in these locations like Guantanamo Bay, this is an opportunity for you to be able to keep up to date with what's going on. Guantanamo Bay 80 degrees, sunrise out there. Uh, Cindy Slot 13, thanks for joining us for this evening. It's a low of 77 in Guantanamo, 92 the high temperature. And if you've got somebody serving at a location around the globe, we'd love to know about it so that we can tell people about what's going on with weather out there. So please let us know. Todd Demers, of course, has more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak into early tomorrow morning. And of course, I'll have more with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. They won't be in tomorrow or Tuesday because of the holiday, but Wednesday morning, stop by for some great social media chat and also sports chat with Bob and Josh on AM7. And, of course, you can get me on all these various social media networks. Once again, email address down here at the bottom of your screen, austin.onic at wreg.com. And more information, again, available at our website at wreg.com slash weather. I'll have more details coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week for updates on the tropical weather, Independence Day forecast, and weather where the troops are. We'll keep you updated on all of
that throughout the next several days. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our latest weather update from our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Sunday night.